G'day and welcome to part 6 of the DIY laser build and in this video what I'm going to be doing is laying out the power supply, the stepper drivers and doing some uh, wiring of those components and they will be housed down here in the machine. So to make it easier to follow along I've made this board so that I can remove it. And by removing this board we'll do all the wiring up to so that we can uh, video it a lot easier and you'll be able to follow along. Okay so some of the things that we'll be installing are the power supplies. So we have uh, these two power supplies with the stepper drivers and the controllers. We also have the controller itself which will mount in place but the control panel which will be mounted on the top of the machine will be installed later on. We also have the X and Y axis stepper drivers the X and Y axis limit switches and we've also got the miscellaneous components for the machine which is the water sensor, the uh, electro interference filter, emergency stop, power sockets. So later on we'll also be looking at the Z axis lift set which is the screw set that lifts the bed up and down and it will require some stepper drivers and stepper motors as well and that will get mounted in here as well. So. Finally we have the laser power supply which will get installed and then we'll do that uh, when we wire up the laser tube later on. But the main components we're looking at today is this set here. So in the last episode we installed these stepper drivers on the X and Y axis rails and they are known as three phase stepper motors. There are also two phase stepper motors so that you can use for your build. But the ones that I have have a six wires on them and they get attached to the stepper motor driver which is uh, the 3DM580 and the connections are U, V and W. Now I'll put the wiring diagram up on the screen here and you can see which colour wires are which and uh, where they get connected. So this part of the laser build I'll also need to install some cable chain on the two axes and I've also purchased some cable duct which will hold the cables all nice and tidy out of the way. So there's two sizes of cable chain and you get the length according to the size machine you're using. Now the cable chain that I got from Cloudray it's nice and easy to install by simply popping open the little tabs then you can lay all your wires your air tube and any other um, wiring that you need to run through this chain all in at the same time and then you can click them closed. So let's have a look at some of these connections here. We have our mains power supply, comes through the EMI or electromagnetic interference filter and that is supplying the 24 volt power supply, the 36 volt power supply as well as the laser power supply. The Trosen controller gets its power from the 24 volt power supply and it is run through into the power input on the controller. The 36 volt power supply supplies power to the stepper motor drivers. So they are connected to the stepper driver here as well as here. And in future when we get the stepper drive, uh, stepper motors for the Z axis, they'll also be connected into this socket over here. The stepper motor drivers are connected to the controller through the signal output on the uh, stepper driver and they are connected to the corresponding socket for X, Y and Z. So each of those get their own connection for the signal. So the stepper drivers that I have for the X and Y stepper motors uh, control a three pole or a three phase stepper motor and they are connected through the connections on the top here and they run off through to the stepper motor. The stepper driver I have here for the Z axis will be running two stepper motors uh, at the same time and it's actually what they call a bipolar or a two phase stepper motor and that will be connected through here and off to those stepper motors. The laser power supply is uh, run from the control panel and it runs through to this socket here on the uh, laser power supply. 
The other thing that we have are limit switches and the limit switch here has a positive and a negative and we also have connections for X, Y and Z limits so we can have uh, the limit for X and Y and then the Z has an upper limit and a lower limit so the upper limit would be if you had an autofocus pen or a lift bed uh, max out switch and the lower limit will be so that it uh, doesn't go too far down. So those uh, limit switches are run through and they run up to the machine. The other thing that you see here in the middle is a air assist relay and that air assist relay is activated when the job starts and it will turn on a power outlet that has an air pump or an air pump and an exhaust fan attached to it. So when the job starts it will provide power to that and that is connected on one side to the 240 volt mains so your mains power supply runs through there. The other thing that we have are the connections for the pneumatic solenoid which is part of the ultimate air assist and the air assist relay. So those connections I'll have to go into in more detail later on but to highlight where they run we have them running from the air assist relay and they run through and go into these connections over here. Now the pinouts for these connections are all different for different controllers and um, I will try to provide more information on those on my website or uh, in uh, future documentation. And of course the last thing that you can see here is that we have our controller sitting up the back here and that is connected directly into the controller socket on the main controller board. So before we go I'm just going to show you some of the features that have been installed on the machine and just a closer overview on the progress so far. So we start at the top here where we have the Trosen controller installed, the emergency stop button and the milliamp meter which will be wired up to the laser tube once that's installed. The uh, Trosen controller is just connected via the single cable down to the uh, control board down below and all the wiring that we've been through you can see there we have the uh, Trosen controller 24 volt, 36 volt and the laser power supply at the back we also have up the top the air assist pneumatic solenoid the X and Y axis drivers and the Z axis driver now the Z axis driver like I say does not have any stepper motors installed at the moment and uh, that will be done in a future video when we do the Z axis lift bed set at the back there we have the EMI filter and uh, down here we have the uh, air assist relay now that relay is um, controlling the power outlet for the air and the exhaust so if you didn't quite understand how that works once the job starts the uh, relay switch will trigger a power outlet and turn it on and that is the white outlet that I have connected and that's the air assist so that's controlled by that uh, 240 volt relay switch the other power outlet which I've uh, selected a color for it the silver that's just standard power outlet so whenever the machine is on that power is always on and we have our main supply in it's currently being uh, just mounted on some ply board until we can finish off the enclosure and that's the same for the top panel board that we've put there it's just a temporary board one thing that wasn't covered in this video was the water flow sensor switch that won't go in until we have all the uh, plumbing in for the water for the laser tube some of the other things that have been installed are the cable management which are the um, the cable chains or cable tracks and they run through the control board below as well as along the cable track for the X and Y axis and you can see those two cable chains there so we also have limit switches which have been installed so those limit switches are the red ones that you see up over the top that's our Y limit switch our X limit switch is on the X axis rail and you can see that limit switch just there the last limit switch that we have currently installed is the Z axis or autofocus limit switch and that's the red pen one that you can see on the laser nozzle tube we have the uh, pneumatic air 
hose running through the cable track as well as the limit switch. So we have uh, the x-axis here and what we'll do is we'll just power on the machine and these will light up once they hit their limits. So it's the first one and the second one will come on now and then it will zero and then return to its last known origin. So the Trosen controller has uh, been set up and configured for the correct bed size. I haven't got time in this video to go through all the settings for the uh, controller or for the stepper motor drivers but uh, if we get time I will do a control panel uh, information video as well as some more information on the stepper drivers. It really depends on which stepper drivers and stepper motors you're using for your machine so the settings aren't always transferable. But uh, there's uh, the progress of the machine so far. As I mentioned, one other thing before we go, the Z-axis lift bed set. This is the first lifting screw that has been installed and uh, it gets mounted. It has a gear on the bottom. The lifting platform will be attached to this plate here and uh, then they'll be controlled by stepper motors and we'll have a limit switch on the lower end so that it doesn't bottom out and hit the, hit the board underneath. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. It's taken me a long time to get to this point here. There's been a lot of research and a lot of uh, time and effort put into uh, getting this video produced. So they do take a lot longer than it actually takes to build the machine. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you got anything out of it and you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, press the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos for this laser build series and other videos in the future. Also, you'll find CloudRay Laser's website link in the description below. That is uh, where I got uh, the majority of these components for this laser build. You'll also find my website where I'll put uh, information about the laser build and as much information regarding the wiring in the days to come. I'll put those up and make them available at mwlaser.com.au. You'll also see other social media links there. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. And until next time, take care. Cheers.